Hey everybody, it's LTM, how's it going? I am at the Cinemark, if you can see it back there. It's pretty packed out there today. I'm about to go and watch Oppenheimer. Now, a lot of y'all were wondering why I didn't go see the Barbie movie on Thursday night, so I've been dealing with a lot of personal things lately. Um, a lot of it involving uh, the weather was pretty bad that night, so I didn't go to the Barbie, wasn't even, not, was not able to go to the Barbie screening. Though I did hear Barbie was pretty good. Um, I am looking forward to seeing it, but I will go try to go watch that next week. But today, but first, I got to focus on Oppenheimer. So Oppenheimer was based on this uh, historical event many years ago about the atomic bomb and about Robert, oh, Robert Oppenheimer, who created the atomic bomb and the father of the Manhattan Project. Um, I'm looking forward to going to this movie. It has a big all-star cast, including Matt Damon, Robert, D Robert Downey Jr., um, <clears throat> Josh Peck, a lot of good people in it. A lot of big names in it. So I'm really looking forward to going to this movie. <clears throat> I hope they mention no cringe in it because this is where, believe it or not, this is where, I don't know if this is where the event happened, but basically the movie does have a lot of references to Oak Ridge or the book had a lot of references to Oak Ridge. So I'm hoping that this movie is pretty good. Um, this is LTM and I'll give you all my thoughts when I come back. All right, guys, I just got out of Oppenheimer. And before anybody even comments, yes, I will get to Barbie this weekend. I promise, like I said, I will get to it eventually. I've heard a lot of good positive things about it. So I just got out of Oppenheimer. Um, just want to say right now, I had a blast in this movie. Um, so like I said at the beginning of this video, and you probably know about this movie by now, Oppen Oppenheimer is about Jay Oppenheimer. Him, about him making the atomic bomb and about him being part of the Manhattan Project. Um, I know this story pretty well, uh, thanks to the people that I knew up in Oak Ridge and high school myself. I learned a little bit of it. A little bit, I learned a little bit of it back in ROTC, back in high school. So I probably know what Oppenheimer was. The movie was pretty, pretty good, pretty solid. In fact, ten out of ten, man. Best film of the year, along with Across the Spider Verse and John Wick Chapter Four. Um, so. The best thing about this movie was the direction. I had no idea where it was gonna go. Um, the stuff with the um, the stuff with him and his um, him and his two wives, basically the whole um, what do you call it? The whole relationship movies or the relationships, um, the whole um, cheating thing. Although unnecessary, kind of worked with the plot, and I didn't half the time I didn't know where they were gonna go with it, so I gotta give the movie credit for that. I love the direction of this film. The visuals and the editing and the effects in this movie looks fantastic. Just like a, just like Christopher Nolan's other movies, it's about what you see and how it feels rather than looking at what it is. Like a lot of times you'll see like all these weird flashback scenes and you see all these weird slow-mo scenes or flashbacks that you see in a lot of Christopher Nolan's movies. And while this is not his best films to do that, I do prefer something like Inception or any of the Dark Knight trilogy scenes with that, but they do a good job in this film, and it really fits that. The whole movie is about Holben, Oppenheimer's character, and he's a really, uh, the guy who plays him does a fantastic job. In fact, Robert Downey Jr., John, well, Josh Peck only has like three or four lines in this movie, but Robert Downey Jr. and the guy who plays Oppenheimer and Matt Damon do a really good job in this movie. They are the best performing actors in this movie. Um, the movie has a really good theme of uh, dealing with the consequences and dealing with the choices you do in your life. I love the, um, the music score. It's very dramatic. I like the, the, the stopping the feet. It kind of gives me heartbeats. There was actually two jump scares in this entire movie that, that was like, oh man, how does how that is so effective? So overall, guys, I had a blast in this movie. Oppenheimer is one of the best biopics I've seen this whole year. I know it's kind of a little early to say, and we're about halfway near done this year but buddy this is the best film i've seen all summer um definitely up there with across the spider verse and john wick chapter 4 is one of the best films i've seen this year so far overall score of course 10 out of 10 if if you want to learn about Oppenheimer, if you don't or if you love the historical events of the atomic bomb go watch this movie man i am a little disappointed that they didn't get to mention oak ridge very much i mean there's a couple lines where they mention oak ridge but not as much as I wanted it to be. But other than that, this is a great film. Now it is pretty long. It is three hours long. So get a bucket of popcorn or get a large popcorn while watching this film, man, because it's pretty long. You do not want to miss a single scene of this movie. All right, guys, that's Oppenheimer. Um, I will go watch Barbie sometime next weekend. I was going to go last night, but things got in the way and I just couldn't have time to go see it. 
but much like most people they're either going to eat they they're either going to go see Barbie or they're going to go see Oppenheimer or, or both probably I know a few people that are probably seeing both movies this weekend but I will get to Barbie at some point I promise but this is LTM signing out and I'll see you guys later